What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel. We are back at with video number two here on the day. So if you haven't checked out my previous video on Max Scherzer, please make sure you do. I will have it in the description down below, along with the playlist on the potential trade targets for the Mets this season overall, because there's plenty of videos, as we know by now, leading up to the MLB trade deadline. But what was originally reported two nights ago at the time of recording this, I was just out of town actually at the Mets game, coincidentally enough. We have here from Michael Mayer for Mets Rise has expressed that the Mets have been showing interest in, yes, Craig Kimbrell, star closer for the Chicago Cubs. So that's all I'll be breaking down in today's video. Everything there is to know about Craig Kimbrell and his game, the potential trade that could be had here between the two clubs that have been linked oh so often in the past half year and so much more. So as always, guys, make sure you stay all the way until the end of the video. Follow the deets and all my thoughts on Kimbrell and the potential he could bring to the New York Mets in a deal. If you guys end up enjoying this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this, please make sure to smash that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends, spawn the notification bell, all those great things. Thank you so much for the continued support, guys. But enough of me talking. Let's jump right into today's video. Here we have 33-year-old right-hand relief pitcher for the Chicago Cubs and Craig Kimbrell. Kimbrell, who was originally drafted with the 96th overall pick of the third round back in 2008 by the Atlanta Braves, has spent the better half of 12 years in the MLB with four different ball clubs, including the Braves, a short stint with the Padres, the Red Sox where he won a World Series with them in 2018, and now most recently with the Chicago Cubs after signing a massive contract with them a couple years ago in the offseason, has found himself as a dominant closer year in and year out, but has taken another step in his game this year, being the best overall reliever arguably in baseball with a 0.50 ERA, a sub 0.70 whip, a crazy strikeout ratio when it comes to both his fastballs and his curveballs. Fastball right around 97 miles per hour and the curveball right around 86 miles per hour. Has drawing plenty of interest leading up to the MLB trade deadline as the Chicago Cubs are in clear sell mode right now and the Mets are one of the teams currently showing interest to add bullpen help and boy oh boy would Craig Kimbrell be something as he is a 2014 NL reliever of the year, a 2017 AL reliever of the year, and a four-time All-Star three times in the AL, most recently this year in the NL representing the Cubs. All right, guys, when I first saw this report by Michael Mayer, and again, I will have it in the description down below, like always, uh, executive for Metsmerize has been very reputable when it comes to actually uh, citing these things really since the offseason, as I've been following him more intensely, has broken a lot of things before a lot of the bigger names out there. I've even considered the notion, whether it's other guys that are covering the Mets or just the MLB as a whole. But no less, when I came across it, I was really surprised by this. And that is because a lot of you guys have asked me over the past couple of weeks to a month now, my stance on Craig Kimbrell, and I said it just isn't happening because at that time, the Mets were fully in on Edwin Diaz being their star closer as he has shown plenty of flashes of brilliance this year. But given some of his recent struggles, I do feel can go di directly in hand with them wanting to possibly target Craig Kimbrell, which is what they are now doing, at least doing their due diligence. I'm not sure exactly how heavy the interest is here, but I have seen some rumors flowing around that the Mets are very much in on Craig Kimbrell at the time of recording this now. And it just finds it surprising me because again, when you look at his contract, still has another year after this year at 16 million. If you're going to land him you're going to land other guys of course and you're probably going to be pushing the luxury tax if not way over it by that point which is something that the Mets are willing to do that they have stated in the past with Zach Scott and Steve Cohen of course but it still surprises me for the third time in a row saying this because if you get Craig Kimbrell Edwin Diaz you're not going to trade away obviously and Edwin who has been notorious for being horrendous in non-save situations we're talking the eighth inning trying to get multi-out saves whatever it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how the Mets go about this kind of route because, again, if you get Craig Kimbrell, you're obviously putting him in the closer spot. I find it really hard to believe that you're going to have him in the eighth spot when he's the guy who has the playoff experience. He's the guy who's been the best reliever in baseball this year. He's the guy that knows what it takes to win a championship, not Edwin Diaz, who was a stud during his time in Seattle and has really rebounded since the 2019 season with the Mets, but still has shown inconsistencies. I don't know how the Mets are going to go about it in a scenario where they land Craig Kimbrell. I really don't, but you'd have to think it's going to be Kimbrell ninth and then the somehow some way have Diaz in eighth and get him more comfortable there and try to give him a mindset like this is just as important as a normal save situation I'm not sure but again a lot of question marks when it comes to actually showing interest here and the cost as well so that is really what always led me to thinking there's no way the Mets are going to go after Kimbrell but here we are at the time of recording this the Mets are very much in on him so I will say this about Craig Kimbrell guys he's dominant we know that you saw the baseball savant numbers he's in the 100th percentile with almost everything pitching wise it's remarkable what he's doing even now at the age of 33 
three. It's crazy to see that he is taking that next level in his game where we're past the halfway mark of the season and this guy isn't stopping anytime soon. He is just that damn good right now. So intimidating as we know what his stance on the mound. What are we shutting the door on any team and bigger name teams that the Cubs have faced this year too in safe situations? But no less with the Cubs selling now, they're going to get rid of plenty of guys. And that's why I truly believe that the Mets win Kimbrel, it's not going to be just him. Just like I talked about in my previous videos on Chris Bryant, check them out. I will have them in the description down below as part of my playlist if you guys haven't checked it out already. If they're going to land Kimbrel, they're going to probably land him in a bigger blockbuster deal. I think that's how the Mets are going to go about a lot of their opportunities right now. Whether it's a deal with the, uh, with the Twins potentially, I think they, they are going to want to land more than one player there because they've shown interest in not just Barrios, but Donaldson and also Rodgers from the pen, potentially Buxton, but that's more speculative than anything else. Then if you're looking at the Cubs here, you got Chris Bryant, you got Zach Davies, you got Andrew Chafin who makes plenty of sense, and now you got Craig Kimbrell. So don't be surprised if the Mets find themselves landing Kimbrell here that it won't just be him. It might be part of something bigger along with, uh, of course, Chris Bryant and some others, whatever it's going to take. And yes, it's going to put the value higher in a deal if you're going to land Bryant along with Kimbrell and potentially someone else. But no less, I feel pretty confident that's how the Mets want to go about things. And they really want to shore up this bullpen and make sure that is that it is as dominant as possible. And they want to prevent Kimbrell from obviously going to a rival, whether it's a team in the NL West, like potentially, I don't even know, like the Padres, because Padres are showing interest in everyone right now, right? So it wouldn't be out of the realm possibility to suggest maybe they'll show interest in, in him as well, even when they have Melanson. I'm not really sure. All I know is the Mets are very much in on Kimbrel right now. It will take up a little bit of a haul to get him, but like I said, I don't see the Mets landing him without it being part of something bigger with the Chris Bryant that is a rental, and then you're getting your guy in Kimbrel that has another year of control. So that is where more of the significant assets are going to be coming from in a trade from the Mets side of things versus if you just land Chris Bryant by himself then you're going to be getting him for far cheaper I would imagine but again that's just my assumption at this point in time so Mets and baseball fans let me know your thoughts in the comments below how do you feel about Craig Kimbrell who has been an absolute stud of a closer throughout the entirety of his career especially this season on another level Lenny with the New York Mets and Queens do you think that is exactly the kind of reliever they need and do you think it makes sense for the Mets to land him as part of a bigger deal a blockbuster deal that we have discussed endlessly on the channel with Chicago Cubs with Chris Bryant potentially Zach Davies or Andrew Chafin so you really kill all birds with one stone here please let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and guys if you ended up enjoying this kind of Mets content you want to see more great Mets content like this if you're excited for the MLB trade deadline what was next in store here on Wardy NYM with so much great content Mets related please make sure to smash that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends put on the notification bell all is great things thank you so much for the continued support guys you know I love and appreciate you all we're getting so close to 8,000 subscribers by the month of August and all I simply can say is thank you thank you thank you let me know your thoughts down below and of course let's go Mets baby